Hey, so um, I wanted to provide an update on my um, squash situation, update number two. Um, <laughs> let's go take a look at the zo dead zucchini plants. Yeah, still dead. Um, I, I pulled that one up over there and I need to uh, do a little maintenance here. But, um, and it looks like there's some random pots and stuff in there. I'm not sure how that got in there. Scott may have moved them. Um, my yellow squash plants are still doing wonderfully. They're still making tons of yellow squash. Um, so see, they're still very happy, healthy, um, giant taking over my garden. Um, the pumpkin, you know, I don't know if it's going to make it. I really had to cut away a lot. And um, I just think it's been, with this heat wave and, and all of that, I think it's been a lot. And I don't know if the pumpkin's going to make it. The, the pumpkin itself is uh, growing still. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe part of it will die and part of it will live. Um, maybe I will have one jack-o'-lantern this Halloween. I don't know. Um, the next thing to show you is... Uh, my poor acorn squash. So I didn't do anything to these until a couple days ago. And uh, I noticed it was getting a little wilty. Um, and I had to cut away a lot. I don't think it's going to make it, which is a real disappointment because there's several squash in there that would have been delicious. But um, I just... I don't think it's going to make it. This one is interesting because I had to, um, if you look down here, look at all the little bugs. Um, I covered this all with dirt. I figured that's going to give it the best chance of survival, but there's two main branches down here. Um, we're seeing here. Um, there's, you know, this one and then there's one here. This one, not doing so well um, I had to cut a ton of that one and I just don't think that it has the ability to make it but this one I didn't have to cut as much um, I don't know you know maybe the the borers didn't do as much damage and it seems to be doing okay so I think out of all of this uh, we'll see again it's been really hot so I think it's probably kind of difficult for these plants in general um, to just to make it in general. <laughs> um, so I probably, out of my two acorn squash, will have half a squash plant. So, you know, not great, but it's not a total loss. Um, so that's, that's my update on the squash surgery. So I guess the lesson is do your surgery, do it early. It works, but if you wait, you're screwed. So get in there as soon as you notice little things on those roots because you actually can save your plants um, as long as you're proactive. So that's all. Have a good one.